for any cake or confectionery product to be acceptable by consumer. Quality is key. A lot of bakers in Nigeria enjoy loyalty and recommendations from clients just because they are known for tasty and fluffy cakes. If you really desire greater height in your cake making business, pay proper attention to quality. This is Baker's World on NTA, your one-stop baker's show on television. My name is Funke Oyele. Thanks for joining us on the program. We have a rich lineup for you today on Baker's World. We will be showing you how to make a yummy and refreshing cake with a bold flavor. Our guest baker is a retired superintendent of customs who started baking as a hobby. We will let you into our world in our interview session. On Baker's Gist, we have a motivational talk by a life coach and some business management tips. You just relax and enjoy all we have for you on the show. Coconut is a fruit that has gradually become a versatile confectionery commodity. Many people love it either for its nutritional benefit or its flavor. On today's episode of Baker's World, our baker Lydia and our assistant will show us how to make a fluffy and delicious coconut cake. So don't go anywhere. We are going to first of all wash our hands. So now we will put our butter in the mixer. So now our butter has been well creamed. Let's see how it looks. Here is the color now. Remember it was very yellow before. Now it's pale, it's fluffy, and it's soft. The next thing now is we want to add our lemon zest. So we let the mixer run for a few minutes. Now we want to add the eggs. So we we'll let our mixer run. Yeah. So now we want to alternate our yogurt and our flour. At this point we are going to reduce the speed. Now I'm adding a bit of the yogurt and then we'll mix again. So we are alternating our flour and the yogurt. So I'm adding the last bit of the yogurt now and then our remaining flour. to add our coconut flakes but to do that we won't be using the mixer this is the coconut flakes and I'm adding it now why we use hand to do this is that when you add the coconut flakes with the paddle the paddle it tends to clog the paddle so that it doesn't spread evenly in the butter. Here is our butter. Now we have to spread it out. While we wait for our butter to be baked, we'll take this quick break after we'll be having a conversation with our guest baker. See you after this time out.
I'm actually a passionate baker. I don't rest until everything is done. When I entered university, anytime I'm broke, I'll make cupcakes and go and sell to the other students. Decorating cake is, it's an artistic thing and art is, you know, dynamic. Join us on Baker's World every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. on the network service of the NTA. Baker's World. Celebrating creativity. Don't miss it. Baking has procedure that you must follow if you want to have good results. And the number one procedure is measurement. We have with us today a retired customs officer and talented baker. Born on the 28th of July, 1957, to the Ilebode family in Otuo, a one local government in Edo State. Lydia Omo Atane had her early education at St. Stephen's Primary School, Otuo, and proceeded to Anglican Girls Grammar School, now Federal Government College, Ibilo, Edo State. She joined the Nigerian Customs Service in 1975 in order to further her education, Lydia got a study leave in 1980 and had her tertiary education at Abraka College of Education, now Delta State University, where she obtained a national certificate in education in English language. Lydia also attended Faith Theology Seminary Otter in Ogun State and bagged a degree in theology in 1996. Lydia Atane's journey into the cake world started by chance through a baker friend she later discovered her interest in cake making and started to bake leisurely for her children's birthdays and family friends at no cost. Lydia did this for several years because she enjoyed cake making and was just satisfied with the thrills of surprised reactions her cakes gave to people. This amazing baker's interest in cake making continued to increase till it became a passion. At this point, she realized her need for greater creativity in baking and decorations. Not minding her age, she grabbed every opportunity to acquire professional trainings from renowned bakers across the country. After her retirement in 2010, Lydia eventually turned her passion into a full-time cake business. Her brand, Lydia Cake Bakery, has produced confectionery products for many celebrations and cake exhibitions in Abuja. Lydia is happily married to engineer Stephen Atani and blessed with four children. Join us as we chat with this determined, result-oriented and purposeful baker, Lydia Omo Atani. You're welcome to Baker's World. Thank you. How have you been able to achieve creativity with all your years of experience? Achieving creativity, one, you have to train. So I had a, a level of training. And then because of the interest in this uh, baking, because of the passion I had for it, I just discovered that anything I saw, the first thing that would come to my mind would be how I could incorporate it in uh, decorating a cake. And that was how, and then sometimes, inspiration. I just come from within, I just okay, I do this less. There are times I'm decorating a cake and something out of what was originally planned. You just come in and I just, and it turns out beautiful. With all your years of experience, I know you must have so many stories, but what I want to hear about is your first rookie mistake. Tell me about that. The very first that I can't forget. A sister was to celebrate her son's first birthday and uh, all the women in the church gathered in my house to bake. We were very busy and uh, we baked this cake. This uh, sister who taught me how to bake did the decoration of us were there. I remember that day we baked far into the night and we had to be escorting all the women to their homes. And it was raining. That was a Saturday night and um, Sunday after service we all gathered in the house of the sister whose son was uh, marking his birthday. The children gathered and after eating, dancing and all of that, we were trying to cut cake. And by the time they put a knife to the cake, the cake was like full. <laughs> it was not 
well cooked. And nobody could eat you. Nobody could taste. Wow, the cake. <laughs> I know a lot of kids were expecting, you know, this cake and they were already waiting. So, what did you learn from that? The lesson that I learned is that baking is not like one pot soup that you can just pack everything, pepper, tomatoes, meat, everything, dump them inside a pot and you have soup ready. No. Baking has procedure that you must follow if you want to have good results. And let's talk about... Um, cake making in all those days when you used to bake what was it like then from the creativity from the tools that were available then from the recipe and designs and decoration that were available then compared to what it is now then it was just realizing and all we did then was you just pipe swirls on your cake and all of that Sugar craft was not the only thing then. You know, we would all buy artificial flowers. And even the everything cake with flower then was not, you know, as it is today. So there has been so much improvement as against that. Then it was just realizing. And then tools. Then the, the even now you have you have what you call piping bags. Then it was this tube that you are pressing your fingers <laughs> almost, you know, by that you are done with one cake you know that your fingers will need uh, some help. But now you have just piping bag that is so easy, you know, to manipulate several tools now, you know, to even help your cakes come out very beautiful. And you have designs, varieties of designs now. Then it was, it was not like it is today. You can see the versatility of, uh, you know, decors on cakes. Yeah. that uh, you know Google for trainings and all uh, internet has actually helped you know so that uh, whatever is trendy anywhere in the world you can reach it you can access it and because of YouTube you can even train yourself let's talk about the cake you're making for us today a coconut cake uh, tell me mixing coconut and cake together what's so special about it really coconut cake you would imagine I mean, what is bringing them together? But you know, now that people, everybody is thinking healthy. Everybody wants to eat healthy. When you have coconut cake, you know, you start thinking, okay, that should be something special. Because of the coconut that is there and other ingredients that come with it because it is a coconut cake, like the lemon zest that go in there, like the yogurt that go in there. So it's um, a healthier version. Thank you very, very much. I'm delighted to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was our conversation with the CEO of Lydia Cakes, Lydia Atani. Now, before we come back to decorate our cake, here is Baker's Gist for you, where we have a motivational talk and business management tips for you. Enjoy it. I would like to share with you also marketing today about the law of saturation. You need to saturate the market. It doesn't matter if you are baking for 
a few or for much. But I want to encourage, especially the, the ones among us who are big time bakers. A good spin soul can become popular if the person who makes it know how to saturate the market. So it's a very it doesn't need it. You don't need a, ro a brain of a rocket scientist. Or neither do you need the, the, the skill of a grand speak driver to understand the business secret of selling. You can send your goods on errand. You can recall it and you can saturate it until it becomes popular by your own efforts. Because <laughs> Help and help those who help themselves. So that's the law of marketing when it comes to saturation. Saturation is a powerful key for big players in any business because you must have the money in your hand to sell it on credit, to mop it up, to sell it again and mop it up before people begin to go and borrow money to buy from you because they know you have made your program, your product popular by your own effort. We all desire this present year to be better than last year. We always imagine how our lives will be if we had more money, less bills, and more success in our daily endeavors. As a baker, instead of just dreaming, figure out what you intend to do differently this year to make your cake-making business better and what practical steps you want to take in order to achieve your dreams. If you're that baker that aspires to move her bakery business to the next level this year, here are some business management tips for you. Start planning. Now is the time to sit down and plan your goals for your business as well as how you intend to achieve the goals. Have an action plan that will aid you in achieving your goals. Don't wait by the phone for customers. Come up with a strategy for getting customers. Kick photography. Take a good photo or video of your cakes. Taking a beautiful and high quality photos and videos of your cakes should be as important as making a good quality cake. More clients will stay on your social media page if your cake are visually appealing. Specialize your selection. Be known for specific type of cakes and decorations. Being a maker of all cakes will overwhelm you, especially if you don't have much help and you are not skilled in all cake techniques. Make cakes you enjoy and it will show in your works. It's smarter and less labor intensive to maximize on your strength rather than spending a lot of time doing amateurish work on what you don't enjoy. You can be the fondant cake queen or be a wedding cake master. Be on social media. As a cake business owner, you should be on any or all social media platform. This will aid you in having a wider reach of potential customers. If you intend to grow your business, this is a must for you. Sort your finances. If you want to have a sustainable cake business, you need to be on top of your finances. Establish a record-keeping process, a separate bank account for your business, develop a chat account for your cake business. Keep a record of all your business income and expenses. Keep these tips in mind and you will have a successful year for your business. So now we want to start our decorations, we want to decorate our cake, so please can I have the cake? We are going to layer our cakes, so this is the first one. We want to apply our butter cream to our cake. Apply butter cream again on this layer. Here is the last layer of our cake. So before we continue with the decoration, we need to trim our cakes so that we have equal sides of our cake. has been trimmed I'm going to cover it with butter cream the essence of this first coating is to seal in the crumbs
So we are done with uh, covering our cake with butter so now we want to roll out our fondant and cover the cake. So it's time to trim. We are going to apply our stencil on the cake. This is the stencil we are going to use. And this is the real icing. So now on the last side of this cake. So the last thing we are going to do now is put our topper on top of our cake. This is to add the uh, beauty to our cake. Now we have our topper on our cake. What do you think? Well, I think it is beautiful. Well done, well done. This is really, really a good job. Hmm? Well done. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're not going to cut this cake because it's so beautiful. I don't even know where I'm going to start cutting it from. If you want to make a cake like this, all you need to do is follow all the procedures and steps displayed by our bakers. Till next week, when we come your way, you can follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it's Baker's World on NTA. And our Gmail account is Baker's World on NTA. Till next week, I am Funke Oyele. Bye for now.